A community park in Douglas County is closed tonight and under investigation after several dogs died there suddenly after visiting it. Denver 7's Christian Lopez spoke with county officials and neighbors in the area who are now on edge. You can see that Newland Meadows Dog Park is still temporarily closed out of an abundance of caution after four dogs passed away after playing here. We spoke with pet owners in this area. This has the neighborhood on edge. It's sad. Randy Hendricks says his heart is broken for the four families mourning the loss of their furry best friends. I've met a couple of those dogs. I feel bad for them. I really do. You're losing a family member. He lives right down the street from Newland Meadows Dog Park. It makes you nervous because you don't know what's what's going on. The Newland Meadows HOA blocked the park off and started investigating in late May after the four dogs mysteriously died after visiting. It's scary. We have lots of clients and, and patients that visit dog parks all the time and never ever want to see that happen. So um, certainly we're worried about it. Dr. Alex Robb from Good Heart Animal Health Center says since this news, his office has gotten a lot more calls from people asking about park safety. In this case, we still don't know exactly what the, the underlying problem is. I think based on the fact that we've had a number of dogs with similar symptoms, we worry about something like a toxicity. And so in that situation, we try really hard to make sure that we avoid sort of contaminated water or um, mushrooms or things along those lines that uh, fungal, fungal organisms that may have grown in the area. Those tend to be the, the most common causes for situations like this. Here's his advice for pet owners when visiting parks. Make sure we're bringing our own water dishes, our own um, sources of treats and things along those lines. Um, you want to avoid anything that looks contaminated, um, especially those communal water bowls and things like that can be sources of infectious diseases. You don't know if it's a natural toxin or if it's uh, somebody is disgruntled, you know, taking after, you know, going after dogs. It's sad that they lost a pet that they had for a while. Douglas County officials say they are working closely with the HOA to determine if this was a naturally occurring substance or if the dogs were exposed to a man-made synthetic toxin that was ingested here, but they won't have that answer until veterinary results come back. Reporting in Parker, I'm Christian Lopez, Denver 7.